Oh my god, it's here. Oh, oh my god. It's here. Alright. Oh. So this is the brand new LG Dulop ergonomic monitor. It's supposed to be for productivity, so like coding, video editing, photo editing, things like that. So I'm going to test it out to see if this can be my main monitor going forward. But now let's unbox this beauty. All right, I'm gonna put it on my couch. Okay, I can't believe I'm actually doing this right now. It's that moment. Some cables. This is the arm that holds the monitor. And this is the monitor. Wow, this is so interesting. Okay, this is this is beautiful. This is beautiful. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to come behind my desk. All right, so I've got the stand installed, which was actually pretty easy. I think this can rotate left and right, or if you want to keep it straight like this, I'm probably going to be, I'm probably going to be like this. So it's like further from, from my face. Coming through, let's see. How does it look? I'm not sure. Got the power cables right here. Ooh, power is on. I hear the beep. Finally, it is all connected, installed, and cable management is done. Wow, so I just like brought up like Lightroom, which is the software that I use to edit photos. Look at this panel. Like the entire editing panel is visible. <laughs> this is crazy. It's so big. You see like how small that photo looks on that particular monitor? And now if I bring this photo over to this one, it takes the entire screen. I can see all the details like all the details of this shot. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so I'm going to use this monitor for the next week or so. After a week, I will do like a thorough review to give you like more honest thoughts. So yeah, I'll see you in a week. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Welcome back. So I have been using this monitor for the past almost two weeks. And I use it mainly for a couple activities like photo editing, programming, of course, and video editing as well as I'm editing this video right now. I wanna go over each of these categories and how I feel about using this monitor for each of these activities. In the end, I will give you my personal opinion if I think if it's worth it to get this monitor for you. So let's jump right into it. So currently I am editing a series of photos that I took this morning from Mount Rainier National Park. And this was a sunrise at Tipsu Lake. Um, I have to say editing photos on this monitor has been such a pleasant experience. Because the resolution, uh, the ratio is 16 by 18. So it is pretty wide and it's pretty tall. So it's kind of like two 16 by nine monitors stacked on top of each other. But this whole photo takes up the entire screen and I can see so much detail in the shot. I can zoom in all the way to see the mountains and to see those trees and just like all the details that I needed to see, which is absolutely essential for 
photo editing. And if you're a content creator and if you shoot photos for like Instagram or like TikTok, I think this monitor is such a huge productivity boost. And also in the past couple of weeks, two weeks, I've been using this monitor as my main developing kind of monitor for like programming, uh, web development and stuff like that. I think it's been quite an amazing experience using this monitor because how much vertical space it has. If you have like lots of code that you wanna like display on your screen, you know, this monitor is like amazing. You don't have to scroll a lot of times to see your, um, the other portions of your code. And also, if you're a web developer, and let's say you come to, to this web page that you just built, and in our case, let's say it's Instagram. Um, in case you're not following me on Instagram yet, this is a perfect opportunity to do so. So let's say right here, you know, let's say I build this page. Obviously, I didn't. If you want to debug, so usually in developer mode, you would inspect this page and the developer console pops out. If you are doing this on a typical screen, I usually would uh, change the layout of the developer dock to be on the right side of the screen so that I can see more content on the web page. But because I have so much vertical space, so instead of like putting on, on the right side, I prefer to put it on the bottom. So it's almost like another monitor on top of it for you to be able to uh, debug and play around with the developer console and checking all the network tabs, inspecting specific elements on your web page, you know, go into your HTML, CSS, and play with all that stuff. So yeah, I do think this is like, a wonderful, wonderful monitor for web development or any sort of like programming job. Okay, so this is what it's like watching YouTube videos on both monitors. So this is the LG Dual Up and this is the current monitor that I have, 27 inch. As you can tell, like there's not much difference watching uh, YouTube videos on this screen or on this screen unless if I go like full screen, then it's kind of weird to have like the black bars on top. But other than that, I feel like it's not much difference. And most of the time I feel like when I'm watching YouTube, I don't really go full screen. So like this is this will be um, pretty normal for this screen. Like I can see like all the comments and stuff like that, like down here and versus like on this screen, I have to like scroll down and then to see the comments. Also, another feature is that if you want, you could rotate your monitor like this. Although it doesn't really like automatically rotate the screen like iPad, uh, you'd have to do some like config changes in your settings. But that's an option if you wanna do that. Um, I actually don't really do it like this. So I prefer it's just being normally set up like this. And I think another feature that this monitor has is like the PBP mode. You go to the settings. This will turn your monitor into like PBP mode. It's gonna take like a second, but basically it kind of divides your monitor into like two monitors and you can connect two different devices um, to your monitor. So the bottom part will be you can connect this to your PlayStation. You can use another like USB-C port or whatever to connect to your computer as well. I don't really do this normally uh, because the resolution is like kind of different. You have to like reset your res resolution. Overall, if you ask me if it's worth spending $700 for this monitor, I would say yes. If you fall into one of those categories that I talked about, photographer, video editor, programmer, I think this is definitely a monitor you want to have. Also, I think this is not a con, but I think ideally I would pair this monitor with a second monitor like the one that I currently have. And I think this will be like ideal setup. I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and follow me on Instagram. Until next time, peace.